Fans, it's Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today, a new review of a brand new model from Aviate Watches, which is a watch company which is kind of the sister company to Spinnaker Watches. But compared to Spinnaker Watches, who really dive into dive watches, Aviate are really into aviation inspired pilot's watches. And the watch comes in this kind of green textured box with Aviate in leather and Nothing too special about the packaging, but it's quite okay. You open and here you find the watch. So this is the brand new Aviate Flyboy Engineer. And this is a new aviation, kind of old school aviation inspired automatic watch from Aviate. The Flyboy Engineer comes in three different versions. This is the black one. You can get a blue one and a green one. I actually like the black one the most because it's kind of the most classic looking of the three versions. But if you do enjoy some more color on your wrist, you should definitely look into some of the other colors. These watches are on pre-order right now, so you can go and sign up to get your example of the watch. They are priced at 225 pounds, which is just short of 280 US dollars. And for what you get, I can just at the beginning of this review, say to you i think you get a lot of watch for less than 300 us dollars so this is of course as you can see a pilot inspired watch it's definitely not too far from maybe some of the iwc pilots watches a completely classic design very legible these kind of sword style hands which are very famous in aviation style watches a very very legible dial where you get the 0 to 11 in big numbering and then on the inside track, you get 13 to 24, so you get the 24 hour counter as well. Below the zero, which is also, of course, the 12 o'clock, you get Aviate. Then you get the crosshair to kind of tell you that this watch is very accurate. And then you get Flyboy Automatic. You get a date window at 3 o'clock. And as you can see, the dial is this kind of nice asphalt style texture which is actually a really good thing because in strong sunlight this watch is actually easier to read because it doesn't have this kind of glossy dial you see with a lot of other watches the hour markings are applied as you can see and then you get this nice red style second hand with which just ticks away. Everything is brushed on this watch. You just get a very light polishing on the chamfering here on the edge of the locks, as you can see. So very much kind of a no fuss style pilot's tool watch. It comes on this very nice engineer style bracelet, which is also the reason why Aviate called this the Flyboy Engineer. And this is a really nice example of the engineer bracelet with solid end links has push pins but it was quite easy to adjust and you also get three micro adjustments i would have preferred to maybe just get two or three more micro adjustments just to get the complete perfect fit because as you can see these single links here are quite big so if you don't get the perfect fit within three micro adjustments here and removing links then you will have trouble adjusting this watch but i got a perfect fit the clasp is really good actually it is a nice click, signed Aviate, a fold over, and then you have to push this double push button to open it. And it's milled metal, not stamped metal, which is a really nice thing. When we look at the case back here, you can see Flyboy, which is kind of the happy pilot you can see here. Very kind of World War II inspired. All stainless steel, sapphire crystal, automatic movement, all of that stuff. And as you can see here, you get only 50 meters of war resistance, which is kind of a little disappointing. I would definitely have preferred 100 meters of war resistance. Of course, you should never go diving with a aviation style watch like this, but just to give the security of 50 meters more water resistance, but no big, big trouble. In my opinion, you get AR treatment on this very slightly domed sapphire crystal, which is really, really nice. It's a very legible watch. So the crown is just a 
pull push crown as you can see here so you can just wind it by turning it counterclockwise and then you can set the time it is powered by the Seiko NH35A movement which is a tried and tested movement which is used in a lot of different watches everything from dress watches aviation style watches and also dive watches so you don't get any trouble with this movement and as you can see on the screen right now it's also quite accurate for this movement between 8 and 11 seconds plus a day is absolutely acceptable for a Seiko NH35A movement in my opinion also, the loom is really nice, as you can see here. Definitely not Seiko style loom, but for this price, which is again around 280 US dollars, I think they definitely provide you with some okay loom. And of course, also the dimensions of the watch. We get approximately 42 millimeters in diameter, 13 and a half millimeters in thickness, a lock width of 22 millimeters, which tapers down, as you can see here, which is really nice because it just really gives a more classic and nice fit to the wrist when that bracelet tapers and a lock to lock distance of approximately 50 millimeters. And as you can see on my 17 and a half to 18 centimeter sized wrist, this 42 millimeter watch wears perfectly of course, an aviation style watch should be on the larger side, but I don't think this is too large when not talking anything crazy like 44 or 45 millimeters. This is definitely still a classy watch with classic dimensions where you can definitely with a lot of different wrist uh, sizes actually be happy wearing this watch. As you can see, it's not too thick either. And that's definitely also because you have this kind of almost flat crystal a very very slight dome to it so all in all i'm very surprised and happy with this watch i think you get a lot of watch for less than 300 us dollars if you're interested in this watch you can actually use the code watch on 15 you can find the code and the link to aviate's website down in the description and then you will get 15 percent discount so you will be, be way beyond below 300 us dollars if you choose to use the code small proceeds will go towards this channel to keep it running. All in all, all in all, I think this is definitely the best watch that Aviate has made so far. I have reviewed quite a few Aviate watches. They're always kind of crazy in their design, but this is kind of the most restrained and also most classic looking aviation style watch from Aviate. And I also think it's actually maybe the very best what they have done so far and a really nice choice with the engineer style bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can also leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It is a big help. Don't forget to visit my website wristwatchpassion.net and again if you want to save 15% on all watches including this Flyboy engineer, you can use the code watchon15 on Aviate's website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.